In this simulation, we have a hot water bath, a cold water bath, a balance, a pair of beakers, a calorimeter, and some water. You can begin your experiment by clicking on the first beaker to place it on the balance. After turning the balance on and tearing it, add water to the beaker by clicking on the deionized water bottle on the shelf. Note the mass of the water that has been added to the beaker. Next, you can place this beaker in the hot water bath to begin the heating process. Now you can prepare a cold water sample by clicking on the next beaker and adding deionized water to it. Note that there is no need to tear the mass of the second beaker in this simulation since the beakers are designed to be identical. Place this second beaker in the cold water bath and allow it to cool down. Once the heating and cooling process is complete, you can remove the hot water from the bath by clicking on it. And then click on the calorimeter to place the cold water sample in it. The timer will automatically start and you can press the start recording button to begin recording your temperatures. Temperatures can be read to one decimal place from these thermometers and you are to take temperature readings every 30 seconds until four and a half minutes. At the five minute mark, you can close the window by clicking cancel and mix the two samples by clicking on the hot water beaker to add it to the calorimeter. Take another temperature measurement at five and a half minutes, then every 30 seconds up till nine minutes. This will give you enough data to properly finish your analysis. When complete, you can cancel the window and click the export data button to download your data set for use in any spreadsheet program. In part B of this experiment, you will repeat much of this procedure, but with different reagents. Click on the first beaker to tear its mass, and then add hydrochloric acid to it by clicking the sample. Take note of the mass of the hydrochloric acid. Move the beaker from the balance by clicking on it, and click the next beaker and add sodium hydroxide to it. Again, take note of the mass for later calculations. Once you note the mass of the sodium hydroxide, you can add it to the calorimeter by clicking on it. This will start the timer and you can begin recording temperature measurements of each solution as you did in part A, every 30 seconds for four and a half minutes. Then cancel the window and click the hydrochloric acid beaker to add it to the calorimeter with the sodium hydroxide. Take another temperature measurement at five and a half minutes then every 30 seconds up to nine minutes. You can restart the simulation at any time to take repeat measurements if you wish.